Welcome to my second podcast episode for my podcast, Bad Days Build Better Days. I am closer to my closet because um, a lot of people said that having clothes and stuff like helps like create a better sound. Um, and my first episode, I had like a huge like fake grass wall that I did the episode like right in front of um but I put that I tore that down because I'm actually going to be moving so this is what I have now and it's on a suitcase um I just I don't know I think it'd be funny like until I have like a designated like podcast recording spot um each week we'll just find a new setup to do and keep it kind of interesting and just show that like you don't have to have things perfected. Um, I'm really just kind of winging this and enjoying it. So I'm going to hit record and I'm gonna do the podcast and so you get to see the real and raw version um, as it's unedited and I'm just <laughs> spilling my thoughts. So here we go, let's dive in to this episode. First, I need some, something to drink. All right, I'm back. I went to get water and my dog was going nuts because there's people in the Airbnb next door and she can see him walking. And then my other dog was getting into my makeup bag, eating yet another makeup sponge, which is like the third one this month. So anyways, <laughs> let's get into this episode. I got new headphones too, I'm excited. So I got that, Tessie. There we go. The volume was not on. Now it is. Okay. Woo! Let's go. Welcome to the first episode. Okay, I had like a little intro how I wanted to start this podcast in my head. And every time like I start it, I just like kind of draw a blank. And this always happens. Like when I do videos and stuff, it like takes a couple times to finally like, okay, now the words are flowing. Welcome to, um, I'm recording this a day after, oh my god, I'm gonna scream, why, like, I can't freaking think of the words I'm trying to say. Round three, let's do this. Welcome to my first official podcast episode. I'm actually recording this a day after I published my intro and kind of made my podcast official. I originally didn't even have this in my head. Like I have so many podcast ideas in my notes ready to record and I have a bunch of podcast episodes that I have recorded from the last year just randomly. But <laughs> this came up because I almost didn't hit publish on my podcast so if you are somebody who struggles with what other people think or feel paralyzed by fear struggle getting out of your comfort zone or you, you just don't like you're fe i guess fearful of rejection this is going to be a great episode for you i <laughs> I struggle a lot with those things and I push myself constantly to get out of that headspace and it wasn't always this easy. So I wanted to share how I've created tunnel vision and how I really don't care what other people think. And there's definitely times that I do. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm unbreakable or whatever. Like I definitely... It, it can get to me. I fortunately don't get like a lot of like hate comments or anything like that. Um, I'm sure people say things just that people love to talk, um, but it I never hear it and so it doesn't affect me. But just because you're not actually hearing it, you st you know, it still affects you. It's still like that thought in the back of your head, like, oh, what are people gonna think? Are they talking about me? Like, is this gonna flop? All of that, right? You have that in your head. Um, so, so I haven't experienced that for a while because I feel like I've kind of been staying in my comfort zone, even though I did 
move from my hometown i you know went on this huge across the country journey that was pretty big out of my comfort zone but it was something for me it wasn't putting something out where people could tear me apart right that was a journey all for myself like nobody couldn't tell me anything because i wasn't trying to prove to anyone <laughs> but myself uh but publishing this po podcast doing this podcast was something that i'm putting out for the world to absorb and so people can definitely tear me down <laughs> and tear it to pieces right it could definitely flop and like i said i haven't put out something like that for a while i've been staying in my comfort zone with my business for those who don't know i am an online personal trainer i've been doing that since mm, 2017 2019 somewhere around that <laughs> it was kind of like unofficial and official so somewhere around there um i started posting on instagram online doing workouts for people, putting out new programs, all of these things, right? And of course, back then I was terrified. I had so many people like my friends and family around me being like, what are you doing? Why are you posting on Instagram? Because it wasn't as normal as it is now. Like nowadays, you see all these ads, you see all these people making money online, but back then it was it was becoming new and so people are like your your silly little instagram business and you know they made fun of me for posting and i would do these motivational posts and they'd be like they literally mock me at the dinner table or whatever and it really hurt my feelings but i had this vision and nobody could throw me off of that vision no matter what they said to me i was so rooted in myself and that vision that I literally did not care. And <laughs> I was this shy little homeschool girl. I was homeschooled from second to eighth grade. I was not confident. I was very shy, very quiet. So this is not like, this was not a character that I grew up with, okay? This is a mindset ch change that I was able to make somewhere in my life. I have no idea when it just clicked and I was like, no, if I want to do something, I'm going to do it. I do not care what other people think or say. Um, I personally don't like, I personally am not the person to look at somebody doing something like, oh my goodness, look at them and like send it to everybody I know and like talk crap because I... I don't know I just I, if I see something I don't agree with I just move along cool they're living their life I'm living mine it does not affect me at all or if I do think like oh my gosh why are they doing that I analyze myself and typically it's coming from a jealous standpoint like I might be tearing them down silently in my head because I'm jealous <laughs> like I want to do that like how did they think of that idea or whatever how did they get the guts to do that so sometimes I think about that too. If I do notice people saying things right here, I've had a couple of people say like, oh yeah, so-and-so like mentioned this about you. And I always tell them, please don't tell me because out of sight, out of mind. I don't want to know it <laughs> or out of mind, well, whatever that saying is. So how to, So going back to my business, I really had to develop this tunnel vision and I would remind myself constantly. Um, it was about 2019 where I think I was about a year into my business and I started seeing the way other people were doing things like other personal trainers or really starting to worry like what people were thinking of me and i don't know why because i started off so confident and then somewhere along the lines like i started feeling not confident in myself and it was totally a a me thing and you know i was in a really bad relationship then that, and he was tearing down my confidence on a daily basis so that might have had something to do with it but the you know the root of this is that I was not confident in myself and my vision and that showed through my business so I was absorbing what other people were posting on Instagram what they were doing and I was like I think I'm doing things wrong like I need to do that and so then I would bounce around and be like okay well this person's doing this and I just I was like doing I was like following everybody else 
<laughs> and it wasn't working for me because it wasn't me. It wasn't authentic to me. And so this is when I developed tunnel vision. I said, I'm unfollowing everybody on Instagram. I'm sorry, love you guys, but I cannot sit here and absorb everybody what they're doing because I was following so many like business coaches and personal trainers, you know, people specific to selling online. And every day I was reading their content and I was just like, I don't know. It just like, it was rubbing me wrong and I didn't like it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to unfollow everybody. So I'm not absorbing that and I'm not constantly doubting myself. And I did that for about a month or two. And I did have a lot of people reach out to me and be like, why don't you follow me? Why aren't you following anybody? You want to create community and you're not following anybody. And I said, it's not about any of that. It's not like a clout thing. Like, oh, I want all these followers and I'm not following anyone back. It wasn't that. I just had to get my mind straight. And this was before like you would only see who you were following, like posts from who you were following. Now, I don't even see posts from people I'm following. It's like ads and like, oh, posts you might like. So it's a little different now. But the whole purpose of this is that block out anybody else, like what they're saying, what they're doing, and get to the root of you. Get to the confidence, you know, unlock all of that. Um, unlock your confidence, really focus on who you are as a person and what your your purpose is, like what your vision is. And I really had to get back to, okay, I'm trying to make an impact here. This is the whole reason why I put my all into my business. My best friend passed years ago and after she passed so many people, this is a, a whole nother podcast episode that I need to make, but so many people reached out to me and posted on her like Facebook wall and said all these things about how she saved their life and she was this light in the world and all of these things. And it, and she saved mine too. Like she was just always there and very open and was a safe space. And so I was like, you know what? I have to continue that. I, I don't know why I just took that on. I was like, I'm going to create a safe space. Like I struggle and why can't I share that with people? Why can't I be this big hug for people? So I realized, you know, it's not about the followers. It's not about the money. It's not about all this stuff. Sure, those are perks. And yes, I, I need to make money to pay my bills. But I could make money with any job. Like, why am I choosing to run a business? Why am I working on content every day? Why am I making this podcast? To impact somebody. That was my purpose. So block out everything else and just be authentic to myself and show up in a way that's true to me. And if it reaches one person. If I get one like, if I get one podcast play, if I get one follower, whatever, then I, I succeeded. So with that mindset, nothing that I put out, nothing that I do that's authentic to myself can ever be a flop. And if people want to run me through the mud, run my name through the mud or whatever, you know, talk crap about what I'm putting out, that's okay because I'm not putting out anything negative or anything bad. Like if they want to say, oh my gosh, like her podcast is so positive. Like she's making, she's trying to make an impact. Like uh, that's just weird. <laughs> like you're not, you're not doing anything to hurt me here. Like, you know, so when that's just what happens when you're so true to yourself, you're like, I don't care. I have tunnel vision. I've got my big headphones on. I cannot hear you. I cannot see the hate you're throwing. I'm just, I'm here talking to that one person who needs to hear this, right? So when I was editing my first little like intro podcast episode that I put out the other day, I started crying. I was, I spent hours trying to edit that thing and I was like, oh my gosh, no, 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 this sounds awful. I was editing, editing my YouTube video. I was like, this looks awful. I was picking myself apart and I was getting really upset. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I don't care. I'm just, I've pushed out posting this podcast for so long. I'm just going to push it out more. Like, heck, why do I even need to put out a podcast? It's fine. There's so many other podcasts out there. Who's going to listen to this? It doesn't matter. And then I 
like I, I just had to get my body moving. I know when I get in that headspace, I'm just gonna keep spiraling. So I put on my headphones, I took my dogs out, I went for a walk like I always do to clear my head, and I put on a podcast because that's what I like to do. And then I started thinking, wow, their podcast sounds so much better. They're doing this and I'm doing this. Maybe I should do that. And I, I had to remind myself of this. I cannot compare my day one to somebody's day 100 or whatever. How can I compare my very first podcast episode to somebody who's been doing it for years? That's not fair to me. They've had time to figure it out. They, they had their first embarrassing podcast episode or whatever, and they grew from that. They figured out what works and they made tweaks and they were able to improve. How am I ever going to improve if I don't just put myself out there? Sure, the first episode's not gonna be amazing. It's not gonna be high quality and all of this other stuff that people have more access to because they've been doing it. I have no idea what I'm doing. I Googled this, I talked to some people, and I'm just winging it. <laughs> and I'm enjoying it. And that was another thing. I was like, okay, I'm not putting this podcast out here to try to get a thousand downloads in one day or all of this money. Like, this is not in my head, like in this, my vision and my plan for this podcast is not even to make money. It's just to impact. And I had to remind myself of that. Okay. If you get one person, one podcast play, it wasn't a flop. It was like, that's something to celebrate because you potentially made an impact on one person. Like one person wanted to press play and listen, listen to your voice for 12 minutes. Like, <laughs> I was like, that is freaking cool. And I do that with my YouTube videos too. Like, I think the most they've ever gotten, like, view wise, is like 100 views or something. And I was like, that's so cool. 100 people wanted to watch my YouTube video. Like, <laughs> no, it's not 100,000 views, but that's cool. I'm just a normal, for, like, person. I, I, like, I'm not a celebrity, I'm not anybody super big or super cool or anything like I'm just a normal person wanting to put content wanting to put content out and people want to listen so if you're freaking out if you want to do something maybe you're you know paralyzed by fear paralyzed by what people might think you have no idea what people are going to think honestly it's not even about people it's about what you think because if I was to come up to you, picture this, you, you have blonde hair, I have blonde hair, whatever. And I come up to you and I'm like, your pink hair is ugly. You'd be like, what? Okay. Like, I don't have pink hair. What are you talking about? You wouldn't be affected by it, right? You'd be like, wow, that person's a jerk. But like, that's, that doesn't affect me. But if you have blonde hair and I come up and say, wow, your blonde hair is awful. And maybe you thought like your blonde hair didn't look that good, you would be hurt by that because I'm just a person. My words don't mean anything unless you already believed them. So be true to yourself, be strong, be so just, I don't know, just like, it's hard. I know it's like easier said than done, but you really just have to go back to your why. For literally anything you do in life, you should have a why behind it. And I'm sure you do. Maybe you don't know what it is. And I encourage you to sit down and journal and just kind of talk about it and word vomit and figure out why am I doing this? And if you really don't know why and you're just doing things on autopilot, maybe you don't want to do it maybe you should change what you're doing because there should be a purpose. Why are you living life on autopilot? Like, no, you, you're here for a reason. You're a human being. You have something to say, somebody to like somebody's life to change, figure out your purpose and figure out what lights you up. And once you figure all that out, it doesn't matter what people say or think about you because you're solid. And that's basically what I had to get over. And sure, like I said, I'm not bulletproof. If somebody was to knock on my podcast, I would probably be upset. But 
because I want, I have this vision, it wouldn't completely throw me off track. Before, yes, if I wasn't true to my vision, I would probably be like, all right, I'm just going to delete the podcast now. Like maybe nobody will notice that that I'm just, I'm done. Sorry guys, too busy, not doing it. (laughs) Like that would be so sad. I've, I've been so excited about this, but if I wasn't super set on my ways then i probably would just scrap it all and that's so sad and i know people probably do that because they do maybe they do get hate or maybe someone says something negative and or maybe they're just like not people aren't stoked on it like you are and it just like derails you and it could have been something really amazing if you stuck with it but you let the opinion of somebody else dictate your life and that's not cool so figure out what you want to do in life block out, put your tunnel vision on or else you're just going to get lost in this noise and you're not going to do what you want to do. And that's not fair. You should not live your life half-assing it and not, not doing and getting what you want out of it. So that's it for this podcast. I hope that